All right, let's cut to the chase. You've been diligently feeding your acorn, watching it grow, and now you're wondering, can I actually get my hands on this money? Well, you're not alone. This is a question that pops up a lot, and for good reason. So, let's dive in. First off, what exactly is Acorn? For those who are new to the investment game, Acorn is a micro-investing app that allows you to invest spare change. It rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar and invests the difference. Over time, this small change can add up to a decent-sized investment portfolio. Now, the million-dollar question, can you withdraw your money? The short answer is, it depends. Understanding Acorn's Structure To truly grasp whether you can withdraw your money, we need to understand how Acorn works. Essentially, it's broken down into two main components. The found money account, this is where your spare change gets collected. It's like a digital piggy bank. The investment portfolio, once your found money account reaches a certain threshold, Acorn automatically invests it into a portfolio of ETFs. Withdrawing your found money. Let's start with the easier part, withdrawing your found money. The good news is, you can generally access your found money whenever you want. Most micro-investing apps, including Acorn, allow you to transfer this money back to your linked bank account. It's like taking money out of your piggy bank, quick and easy. However, there might be some fees involved, so it's essential to check Acorn's specific terms and conditions. Some apps might charge a small fee for withdrawals, so it's always a good idea to be aware of that. Withdrawing your investments. This is where things get a bit more complicated. When you invest your money through Acorn, it's put into a portfolio of ETFs. ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, are essentially baskets of stocks or bonds. Now, you can sell your ETFs to get your money back, but there are a few things to consider. Market conditions, the value of your investments can fluctuate based on market conditions. If you sell when the market is down, you might end up with less money than you initially invested. Tax implications, selling investments can trigger capital gains taxes. So, it's crucial to understand the tax implications before making a withdrawal. Acorns fees, there might be fees associated with selling your investments. When should you withdraw? So, when should you actually withdraw your money? Well, it depends on your financial goals. If you're saving for a short-term goal, like a vacation or a new laptop, withdrawing your found money might be a good option. However, if you're investing for long-term goals, like retirement or buying a house, it's generally advisable to let your investments grow and avoid frequent withdrawals. Remember, the beauty of investing is the power of compound interest. The longer you leave your money invested, the more it can potentially grow. Alternatives to Withdrawing Before you make a decision to withdraw, consider these alternatives. Partial withdrawals, some investment platforms allow you to withdraw only a portion of your investments, leaving the rest to continue growing. Rebalancing, instead of withdrawing, you could rebalance your portfolio. This involves selling some of your holdings in one investment and buying more of another to maintain your desired asset allocation. Dividend reinvestment, many ETFs pay dividends. You can choose to reinvest these dividends to buy more shares, which can help your investments grow faster. Conclusion So, can you withdraw money from Acorn? Yes, you can. But whether or not you should depends on your individual circumstances and financial goals. It's essential to weigh the pros and cons carefully before making a decision. Remember, investing is a long-term game. While it's tempting to dip into your investments when you need money, it's generally a better strategy to let your money grow over time. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.